in this lesson, we are going to solve inequalities and then we're going to show the answer on a number line. Now first, let's make sure that we all understand the basics. First of all, what is an inequality and how is that different to an equation? So an equation has the word equal or almost. You can see there's almost the word equal, right? So it has an equal sign. So that would be something like x plus 1 equals 4. That is called an equation because it has an equal sign. And inequality is the weird one that has like this, like that, like um, sometimes they show it smaller than an equal to, bigger than an equal to. So those are called inequalities. Now, we need to make sure that you understand what each thing means. So if I say that, what does this mean? Does it mean, and please, you must never start with the number. Always start with the x. So always say x, and then is that, so does this say that x is smaller than 4, or does this say that x is bigger than 4? Well, you need to get used to this, um, but I'll show you a lot of examples. This means that x is smaller than 4, okay? Now, if I say something like this, what a lot of learners do is they start with the 2 and they say, oh, 2 is bigger than x. But that's not all the way you want to do it. You always want to start with x, okay? So what does this mean? What well, says x and then this sign is facing in that direction, which is, can you see it's facing away from the x? Can you see that it's facing towards x? Like if this is a, if this is a Pac-Man or maybe that's a crocodile, okay, there's the crocodile's teeth. What is the crocodile about to eat? The crocodile is about to take a big bite out of the two, okay? So the crocodile is facing the two. Now, the crocodile always likes to eat the big thing because it's hungry, okay? So what we can say here is that the x is obviously the smaller thing. So we can say that x is smaller than um, two, okay? X is smaller than two, and here, yeah, because the crocodile is trying to eat the two, and the crocodile's hungry, so it always eats the bigger thing. So what about something like this? If I say, um, if I say that. So don't start with the minus seven, always start with the x, or whatever letter they're using. So we say x, okay, so we say x. Now is the crocodile about to eat the x, or is it about to eat the minus seven? It's about to eat the x. Can you see the big mouth of the crocodile is opening up so that it can take a bite out of the x? So that means that the x is bigger. The x is bigger. Because remember, the crocodile is hungry, and the crocodile always eats the bigger thing because it's looking for a lot of food. So we can say x is bigger than minus 7. Let's do a few more. Let's say we did this. Okay, but let's erase the other ones so we don't have any previous ideas. Okay, I'll raise up to there. So what does this one say? Please don't start with the 5. Start with the x. So we say x, okay? Now, Look at the crocodile. What is the crocodile about to eat? Is the crocodile about to eat the five or is it about to eat the X? It's about to eat the five. See the teeth? It's about to eat the five. So it means that the five is the bigger one. So it means that X is smaller. X must be smaller than five. Okay, let's do three more to make sure that you really understand this. And then we'll start doing the proper equations. Okay, so remember we always start with x, so you say x. Now look at the crocodile. What's the crocodile eating? Is it, is it about to eat the x or is it about to eat the minus 3? It's about to eat the x, so that means that the x is the bigger one. So we say x is bigger than minus 3. Okay, let's do one more. Uh, so let's say we say something like minus 2 um, like that. So you always start with x. Now look at the crocodile's mouth. What is it about to eat? It's about to eat the x, so that means the x is the bigger one. Great. And then we say bigger than minus 2. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to actually show all of this on a number line and how to actually solve these equations. So here's our first one. So what we are going to do is we are going to try to solve this equation like we normally do with equations where you, um, you try to get the letter by itself. And once we do that, I will show you how to show it on a number line. Okay, so what I'm going to do, let's ignore the number line for now, and let's just go solve um, as normal. Now, you can literally pretend that this is an equal sign. Don't worry about the fact that it's an inequality. Just go solve normally. So we're going to put all the variables on the one side and all the numbers on the other side. You know how we've done before. So I'm going to take this minus 1 and this positive 6 over to the other side, 
And so we will end up with, so the n is still on the right, and then on the left, we're going to have 4 plus 1, because this becomes a plus, and then minus 6. And so we end up with n like that, and then 4 plus 1 is 5, 5 minus 6 is minus 1. Now here's where the previous slide that I showed you is so important. What does this mean, like in everyday language, like in English? What would you say? Please don't start with the minus 1, always start with the letter. So you could say n, now what does this mean? Well, is the, don't worry about the little sign over there, I'll explain that just now. Um, look at the crocodile. Is the crocodile about to eat the minus one, or is it about to eat the N? Well, look at the crocodile's teeth. They are going to be, um, they would want to be eating the minus one. So the minus one is the bigger one. So we'll say that N is smaller, okay, smaller than, and then, because there's this little line over there, can you see that that line's almost like an equal sign? It's like a half equal sign. Imagine there were two lines there. So it's like a half equal sign. So we say smaller than and equal, because there's an equal sign there as well, to minus one. So n is smaller than and equal to minus one. So what we do is we go to minus one on our number line, and you can either put an open circle or you can put a closed circle. Now it's important which one we use. You can't just choose which one ever, ever one you feel like, it goes like this. If they have this type of symbol where there's an equal sign, then you use a circle that is completely closed. If it's just like that, then you use a open, okay? And it works the same if it goes this way and that way. Then we use an open um, circle like that. So because this one has a little line as well, we're gonna go to the minus one, we're gonna make a circle, but we're gonna color the circle in. Now, you are either gonna go this way, or you're gonna go that way. Once again, you can't choose, you gotta look here. So it says that n is smaller, okay? So remember on a number line, going this way means smaller, and going this way means bigger. Because as you go this way, look at the numbers, they become smaller. Some of you are like, yeah, but Kevin, five is smaller than six, and seven is bigger than six, and eight is bigger than seven. Yes, but it's negative. So because it's negative, these numbers are actually becoming smaller. And as you go this way, the numbers are becoming bigger. Okay, so we said that n is smaller. So we're gonna draw an arrow showing to the smaller side. So this arrow, this part here, that is the n, that is n. So we said that n, is all the numbers that are smaller than minus one. So n would be n would be all of these numbers, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five, minus six, minus seven, minus eight, and it would go on and on and on and on and on. So n is all of those. So we could actually just do this a little bit better, and we could show it like that. So that would be our final answer um, for that number line. Okay, but we're gonna practice a couple of these in this lesson, so um, let, let's try another one. So here we go, step one is just to try solve this equation, okay? So let's quickly write that equation over here. Right, now, um, all the variables are together, so I'm just gonna put these two together quickly. So minus three plus six, that gives us three A, like that. Then to get the A by itself, we're just gonna divide both sides by three, and so A will be smaller than, well, we'll talk about that now. Now, minus three divided by three, that is just minus one. Now you need to know exactly what this means. What this means is that A, remember we always start with the letter. Now look at the crocodile. Is it about to eat the minus one or is it about to eat the A? It's about to eat the minus one. And remember the crocodile always eats the big thing. So that means that A is the small thing. So A is smaller than minus one. So what we do is we go to the minus one and we make an open circle or it could be a closed circle. Now remember what we said, if they only use those symbols, then it's an open circle, and if they use these symbols, then it's a closed circle. Okay, so we're going to use an open circle, because we don't have, we just have that symbol, and now we're saying A is smaller, so we're going to go to the smaller side, which is to the left hand side. So what we are saying is that A can be all the numbers that are smaller than minus 1. So they could be numbers like minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, because those numbers are smaller than minus 1. So this is our answer over here. 
here's our next example. So this one's quite interesting because it's got brackets. Don't worry, it's just going to follow the same patterns that we've used in previous lessons where we have brackets. So let's quickly just write this out over here for ourselves. So remember with equations that we did a couple uh, chapters ago, we, we said that when you get something like this, you just want to get rid of the brackets. So that's your first step, okay? You're just going to um, take this 7 and you're just going to multiply it into the bracket. So that will become negative 35x plus 7. Okay, so now you just want to get x by itself. So I'm going to take this minus 35x to the left and then I'll bring this 7 over to the right but you could do it your own way, of course. So we're gonna end up with four X on the left because that's already there. Then the 35 X is gonna end up becoming a positive. So we'll say plus 35. And then we keep that symbol like it is. We don't change that around. We only change this around under special scenarios, which we'll possibly be looking at in this lesson. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we've got that seven over there and then we're gonna bring this seven over. So it'll become minus seven. Okay, so what we end up with now is 49x, and then that symbol, and then 0. Now to get x by itself, we divide by 49, we divide by 49, and so we'll end up with 0. Now you need to know exactly what this means. That means x, we always start with the x. Now look at the crocodile's mouth. It's facing the x, so it means that the x is the big one. So we say bigger, sorry, x, sorry, let's write properly here. x is bigger than and equal, sorry, should actually technically say or equal to, it's not and, x is bigger than or equal to. In the previous one, I might have said uh, and, whoopsie, that's or, okay? Um, for now, that's not that important, but yeah, technically it should say x is bigger than or equal to uh, zero. So what we do is on our number line, we go to the zero and we can either make a, a closed circle or we can make an open circle. Now remember, it all depends on this, haha. So because they've got the little line there as well, we're gonna make a closed circle. Now, we are either gonna go left or we're gonna go to the right. So they said that X is bigger. Ah, so now we're gonna go to the bigger side. Because think about it, X is bigger than zero or equal to zero. So X could be zero, one, two, three, four, five. X is all the numbers bigger than or equal to zero. So X is all of these numbers over here. And so there's our answer. We have two more examples. So here we just need to go solve this one over here. So I'm just gonna write it out for us. Okay, so step one, we just wanna get rid of the brackets. Now remember over here, some learners, they think, oh, there's a minus four X, I'll just put the minus four X in, but that's not correct. There isn't a minus four X in the front. What's in the front is this, and that is a minus one. And so you are gonna take that, and you're gonna put that into the brackets, okay? So it would look something like this. So it would become, You'd multiply those two together, so that'd actually become plus seven because a minus times a minus is a positive. And then you would multiply this minus one into there, so that would end up becoming a positive as well, so it'd end up becoming positive three X. Okay, so I wanna show you guys something pretty interesting. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the X's to the left, okay? I just wanna show you guys something. So what that then means is I'd have to take this number to the right. Okay, so what we'd then end up with is minus 3x, and then this minus 4x would come over to the left, so it would become plus 4x, and then this plus 3x would come over to the left and become minus 3x. Then I keep the symbol the same, I don't change that around, only under some special scenarios, which I'm going to show you guys now. And then on the right hand side, we're still going to have the 7, and we're still going to have this positive 15, but it's going to come over to become negative 15. Okay, then on the left, we can just put all of this together. It'll be negative 2x, keep the symbol the same. And then on the right, whoopsie, on the right-hand side, we end up with negative 8. Now, here's the part I'm so excited to show you. Many learners always ask me, they're like, Kevin, my teacher said we should sometimes switch this around. And here it is. When, okay, so when dividing with a negative 
then you must switch the sign. This is the only time that you switch the sign. So here we are going to divide with a negative. We haven't done that yet in this lesson. So we're going to divide on both sides with a negative. See there's a negative at the bottom. That's important now. So because of that, we know those would cancel out. Because of that, this actually flips around like that. And then minus 8 divided by minus 2 is 4. This catches a lot of learners out. So you only switch the sign when you divide with a negative. I'm not saying when you take a negative to the other side or when you move it across. I'm saying when you divide with a negative, then you switch the sign. Okay. For example, if I had this. Now some learners are like, oh, see, I see the negative. So I'm going to switch the sign. But this is not correct. Because to get x by itself over here, I'm not going to divide by negative. I'm just going to divide with a 2. Ah, you see. So here you wouldn't switch the sign. It's only if there was a negative in the front then you're dividing with a negative, and then you would switch the sign. Okay, and so what we end up with here is this. Now we need to know how to translate this into normal English again, so that it's easy for us to draw it on the number line. So what does this mean? Please don't say 4 is smaller than x. You always say x. So say start with x, and now what is the crocodile doing? Well, the crocodile is about to eat the x, so that means the x is the bigger one. So we can say x is bigger than or equal, because there's also a little equal sign under there, so we can say bigger than or equal. To what? To 4. Okay, so what we do is we go to our number line and we put a solid circle that is colored in at 4. Why? Because it's got an equal sign as well. And then it says x is bigger, so we want all the numbers that are bigger. So we go to the right hand side like that, because that says x is bigger. So x can be numbers like 4, 5, 6, 7, because x is bigger then 4. So there we go. Our last example for this lesson. So what we'll do is we'll just get rid of all the brackets, but let me first just write it out for us over here. Okay, so we're just going to get rid of the brackets. So we're going to multiply this negative 6 into the bracket. So that'll give us negative 42k plus 48 is bigger than negative 2k. Um, and then when you multiply this positive 8 in, it'll become negative 48k and jeepers, minus 72. Okay, now we're just going to move all the k's to the one side and all the k, um, numbers to the other side. So I'm going to take all the k's to the left, so that means I'll take those two to the left. Let's do that a bit better. There we go. And that means that all the numbers would then have to go to the right. So we'd end up with negative 42k on the left hand side, plus 2k, plus 48k, on the left hand side because both of these became a positive and then we say bigger than and then we take all the numbers to the other side so we have negative 72 and then we take this 48 over and that becomes negative 48 okay now we're going to go put all of this together so that'll give us 8k and then on this side we've got negative uh, 72 minus 48, geez, like some big numbers here, hey? So that's gonna be negative 120. Then to get k by itself, you divide both sides by eight. We don't switch the sign because we're not dividing with a negative. Um, and so k would be bigger than negative 15. Now you need to be able to interpret this. So what we'll do is we'll say k. Now look at the crocodile. Who's the crocodile about to eat? The minus 15 or the k? It's about to eat the k. So the k is bigger. So we say bigger then we're not going to say or equal to because it doesn't have an or equal to sign. So we'll just say that k is bigger than negative 15. So what we do is we go to our number line to the minus 15 and we use an open circle, not a closed circle. And then it says k is bigger than that. So bigger means to the right hand side. And so that would be the answer for this one.